update all of us. This is my first quarter of final evaluation of 2016 in reading. Uh, the first book that I read was um, Orbiting Jupiter. It was a realistic fiction, realistic book, I mean. Um, it was about a kid named Joseph, and he had a kid when he was 14 years old. Um, he actually goes into a foster home, and he gets really close to the family. And as time goes on, he kind of gets, starts getting obsessed with finding his uh, daughter. And um, he goes through a phase when people always judge him about um, the things that used to happen, the things that happened before he came to the new school and the new um, home that he was in. Um, the genre is realistic fiction because um, the none of the characters are named Gary D. Schmidt. Um, um, also, it is something that can happen in real life. There, there, as everyone knows, there are some kids that are uh, teens that um, have babies when they're younger or, or teen moms. Um, this book explores a lot of um, loneliness and and going through parenthood a lot of the times. Um, a few things that I noticed about the author's craft is that he didn't really, he didn't add that much detail about the characters, oh, like the physical, um, the how they look physically or things like that. Um, but I did really like the story. It was very interesting. My favorite part about the book was that Joseph started liking the family, started uh, caring for them, like um, his foster brother, um, Jack. And he actually, they actually got really close. They kind of became friends. Um, so that was a very interesting book for me. Here you have some characters, Joseph, that's the main character. Uh, no, the narrator is Jack, and Joseph is one of the main characters. Um, here are some people that helped Joseph through his hard times in school because of his face. Um, here you have some vocabulary words, and here I have a memory moment. Jack remembers when Joseph, Joseph, um, Jack remembers when Joseph slept, and he, um, he would talk in his sleep and cry the name. Um, the second book was Jars of Hope. Um, it was a biographical picture book. Um, it is a bio. It's bio because um, the over here you can see the title of Jennifer Roy. She's the author of this book. But she, the as you can see here, it says how one woman helped save two thousand five hundred children during the Holocaust. Um, her name was Arena, and in the back it actually tells you about it. Um, I didn't really take the picture of it, but it is a biographical. And over here, I don't know if you can see it, that's a tab that says biographical. Um, and it talked about how Arena, the main character, she um, knew that it was life and death, but she, she, um, she said that it was the right thing to do. And what I really liked about it was um, that she was very brave. And when this um, when the soldiers came to get her, um, she never said the um, names of the kids or where they were set up in homes because in this book they're talking about how she saved many children um, that were Jewish and how she gave them to other families in other places to take care of them. And she never said anything about it. Um, uh, they put a lot of details. They didn't really. I I don't really think it was that interesting because it was facts a lot of it. Um, but I think that's how it's supposed to be. Uh, mm, the subject explores the Holocaust. Um, it explores bravery and courage. I I, I really liked it. Um, some of it is um, that you have you want to do the right thing, and Arena did the right thing. She never gave up, and she still went on after she was uh, taken out of the jail. She still went on and helped. Um, okay. Oh, wait. Here you have some some details over here, like some wise quotes over here. Uh, over here, Arena's dad, when she was young, told her told her this. There are two kinds of people in this world, good and bad. 
It does not matter if they are rich or poor, which religion or race. What matters if, is if they are good or bad. That was really good. Um, there was also another one uh, that her dad told him, told her. Um, it was when someone is drowning, um, give them him your hand. And I thought that those were really great quotes, and so I decided to write them down. Them characters, Arena, her dad, some of the people that helped out Arena with the with the smuggling the kids and into other homes and things like that. Over here, I read a realistic fiction, realistic book. It was called The Smell of Old Lady Perfume. It's by Claudia Guadalupe Martinez. Martinez. Um, here you have some, uh, over here, you have some of the characters. Over here, you have, uh, some quotes over here. Uh, um, a lot of the times it's older people or the older they're wiser, they're supposed, to, they're supposed to be wiser, and so they give um, um, advice to their kids or to people that they know. And um, Chela had her dad, and he gave her advice. This book was a realistic fiction because um, Claudia was never actually in the book. I never heard her being in the book, and um, but there were some historical facts in there uh, about your hair about. Latino heritage, uh, Hispanic heritage in there, and some things that they used to do. Um, they had some information about some people, um, some important people. They It did talk about race, uh, sometimes how people judged each other, sometimes because of their popularity, and sometimes because of the race, like Chela was Hispanic, so some people called their names because of it. Mm. That has a mirror in a lot of people. I think it has a mirror on me because I am Hispanic. There have been a lot of things that have been happening. Um, a lot of things that I noticed. Oh, well, the book was about um, Chela. Uh, she's a narrator. And it talks about her being in sixth grade. And her finally feeling like happy and things um that she loves and that she was she was hoping that it was going to be perfect but it actually did not turn out that way over here you have the character camila she has a big impact in the book um and her friend nora has a big impact on her because they stop being friends because um she starts uh, hanging out with camila and so that never actually really happened um over here it talks about Najin's secret school it's about um a girl named Nazrin, and it's a true story uh, from Afghanistan. So I thought, okay, then it's an it's an it's a biography because over here, Nazrin isn't actually the name of the character. It's by Jeanette uh, Winter. I think it says Winter. I can't really read it, but yeah. Um, and every page is a picture, like on the Charge of Hope, and everyone there's a um picture but it but now you should school is actually very interesting i really really liked it more than the biographical biographical one because that one had a lot more facts and this one had facts but it made it interesting um over here you can have some characters grandma Nazrin, Nazrin, she had a mom. They actually didn't tell you the names of the, her mom or dad or her grandma. Amina is the girl that sat next to Nazrin every day, her friend, uh, but they never actually talked. Um, here you have some facts that I put that were important, some things that happened in the story. Um, the Here's the setting. It happened in Afghanistan, like it tells you in the over here at the top. Um, I put a fact like girls aren't forbi are forbidden to go to school. Um, so the book is about Nazrin and how her dad was taken away from soldiers, taken away, and her mom couldn't deal with it anymore, so she decided to go out and look for him. After a while, they never came back, and after a while, they didn't come back, and Nazrin started to feel like she had sucked all, all the joy out of her, and so she stopped talking. And it was very bad for her because she had a lot of hope and joy. Um, her grandma saw what was happening, and she decided that she wanted to take her 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 granddaughter to um, to some to a school to make her have joy. And she did. They, it's forbidden, so it wasn't allowed. But they would sneak around. And they would go without them caring, without them having care in the world, and they did it because 